One of the most powerful storms on record in the Atlantic continues to thrash its way across the Caribbean. This is what Hurricane Irma looks like now as it moves in towards the Bahamas, but it's expected to hit mainland Florida this weekend. Aerial evidence of catastrophic damage on the island of Tortola in the British Virgin Islands. Houses flattened, hospitals destroyed, trees ripped from the ground. Heartbreakingly similar scenarios playing out across the Caribbean. In the French territory of St. Bart's, cars lay on top of walls, grounds littered with debris and fallen trees. In St. Martin, tossed boats flooded homes and streets. Some hotels on the coast wiped away. At least nine people were killed as Irma passed through. The Prime Minister saying his island is a total blackout and more than half of the island's water supply wiped out. Stormy seas off the Dominican Republic last night. The island nation spared a direct hit by Irma, but still causing widespread damage and sending residents fleeing to shelters. Irma continues its deadly track toward Florida. Highways headed north out of the panhandle are choked with vehicles. Airports crammed with residents desperate to get out of harm's way. More than a million residents there have been ordered to get out. Florida's governor pleading with them to not delay. Today is the day to do the right thing for your family and get inland for safety. This storm is wider than our entire state and is expected to cause major and life-threatening impacts from coast to coast. The National Weather Service has downgraded the storm to a Category 4 hurricane, but it is still extremely dangerous. And then there's Jose, another hurricane, now a Category 4, churning in the Atlantic. Still have the two major hurricanes, Irma and Jose. Irma is going to be the most immediate threat to the most amount of people. Still a Category 4 storm, it, very dangerous as a Category 4 storm if it makes landfall as such. The track here with Irma is going to take it right in between the Florida Keys and in through portions of Miami. It will take a little dip along the northern coastline of Cuba, and then as it stretches through the panhandle of Florida, almost all of that panhandle is going to see hurricane force winds. Jose, on the other hand, going to take a little bit of a right turn a bit sooner than the path there was with Irma. The only two real spots that are in danger with Jose, Barbuda, and then it looks like areas near St. Martin, which have already seen pretty significant devastation, but they've got another round that they're going to have to endure. Irma is expected to make landfall in Florida this weekend, late Saturday or early Sunday morning. Jose is on track to reach the northeastern Caribbean sometime Saturday.